All right, guys, so in Photoshop, once you've connected to the network drive, you're going to do file, scripts, and you're going to go to load files into a stack. What this is going to do is it's going to open up a dialog box that will ask you for the files that you want it to load. You don't need to open up a new file. You're just going to go to browse. And then you're going to go to your file that you saved all your Hockney environment photos in. And I'm just going to go to someone in my period seven class who I know has them all in there. And so you're going to, he already did his, so it's up top here, but you're going to go from the top image, right? So this is his image of the full scene. And I'm going to hold the shift key and go all the way down to the bottom. And it highlights all the pictures with the shift key. Okay. So these are all the pictures that he wants to include. And he might not include all of them, but we want to open them into the file in case he does want to open them. So now that I have them all highlighted, I'm going to hit open and it, it lists them all here. And then I'm going to hit okay. And what that's going to do is it opens it all up into one file. And you'll see once it's finished populating and opening them all up, I will open up the layers and you'll see all of the photos in the layers there. And hopefully it doesn't take too, too long. But see it's working and it's opening up the, full, the files in one file. You have to do all the photos at once because if you do it again, it's gonna open up a new file. So now you have his main scene, right? And if I'm in Photoshop and I do view, I'm going to do view extras because it always puts my grid on and I don't like it. But I'm going to do window layers because my layers aren't open. So now you can see, can you see that in my layer palette? I've got his first photo here at the top. Okay. And then if I take this out, I've got all his different photos here all the way. See how many layers there are? There's like a million layers. So. I don't want this picture at the top, so I'm going to click the layer and I'm going to drag it down to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. And then once I get it to the bottom, I am going to, okay, now it's really at the bottom. Once it's at the bottom, I'm going to make it see-through. Well, I'll do that later. So I've got the main picture at the bottom. That's going to be my guide. And then I have all these pictures now. So now what I want to do is I want to take all those pictures and I want to scale them and make them smaller. So I'm going to click the top photo and again, hit the shift key in my layer palette and scroll all the way down to every picture, but the background picture and see now all those layers are highlighted. And now I'm going to do edit transform scale and now I'm going to scale them down to as small as I want them to be so I'm probably even going to make them maybe like that small and then once I'm done scaling I'm just going to hit either the check mark up here or I can hit any tool over here on the toolbar can you guys even see the toolbar because the way it's on my screen here so I can either hit the check mark up here or pretty much any tool on the toolbar and it will complete the transformation. So here now, I'm going to take, go to my background picture, click my background picture. I'm just going to make it see through by going to opacity, which is up here at the top, where it says 100%. I'm going to make it like a little see through. That way it's kind of like just a guide so I know what I'm using and what I'm not using. Because eventually you're getting rid of that by clicking the eye ball like when you're done so for now you're going to keep it to use it as a guide so now as long as i have auto select selected at the top here i can just go take these layers and kind of move them where i want so i've got a million layers here now or i can start from the bottom if i want to and i'm going to start kind of See, this one probably goes to the side over here because of where the light is. Now, 
If I want to move a layer above another layer, I'm just going to click the layer so it's selected, and I would move it up in the layer palette. So now this one's above this layer. So I probably want this layer down here and this layer here above it. And I'm just going to pretty much keep moving my layers how I want them. Now let's say you want to make a layer brighter or not as bright or darker or something like that. So let's say this layer here, whoops, I just moved my background by accident. Remember Command Z to undo anything. So let's say I want to take this layer and make it brighter or darker or something like that. As long as I'm clicked on that layer, I can just go to edit, no, sorry, image, adjust, and I can go to brightness, contrast, levels, curves, or exposure. And I can adjust the curves of just that picture and see, because I'm on just that layer, it'll adjust it to that layer. So if like everything looks too much similar and you want to make something stand out more, you can do that. You can go to that layer and adjust, or if something's sticks out too much and you want to make it not stick out too much, you can go to just that layer and adjust. So pretty much that's what you're doing and you're going to keep going to get the whole picture done. One other thing, if you want to make your canvas size bigger so that you can make it look like your pictures are spreading out on the page, like most of the Hockneys, you can go to um, image canvas size. And I can make my canvas size bigger and keep my picture the same size. So if I want like extra white around the outside to make my pictures not kind of look like they're in a box, what I would do is I would go to image canvas size and I would go to it, change my pixels to inches just so I have an idea. And I would make my width bigger than whatever it is. So I'm at 36 now. So let me make it like, I don't know, 45. And then I'm going to make my height like 40 and then what that does is that gives me extra space to work with here so that if i want to make some of my pictures like break the mold then i can kind of have them do that all right now i'm gonna 